So for the center front trim of the bodice, I already have a general idea of what I want. Um, so I want this to be down the center with this beaded trim laid over the top, something like that. Um, the only problem is that this trim is way too thick. Um, what I really would like is the edges of this trim to just be on the outsides of this beaded trim. So ideally I would like the beaded trim to be about that close to the edge and then this edge to be situated over here. So the way I'm going to solve that problem is by uh, cutting this trim in half, cutting out that middle section and then sewing together just the ends um, in the center with probably a zigzag stitch. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will get back to you. Okay, so I've re-sewed it back together. Um, as you can see, it's a lot more, it's nicer sized in my opinion. Um, I think that the beaded trim uh, lays a lot more flush against the edges or almost. Um, yeah, and it just looks a lot neater than before. Less mismatched, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to start sewing the trim onto the bodice. I'm going to start with this small trim that I've got. Um, this is from eBay. Um, pretty much all of my trim is from eBay, apart from this one. Uh, that ribbon and this and I'm not even sure if I'm going to use those two that were from Spotlight those two and then the rest which I am definitely going to use is from eBay um, yeah if you want to know uh, the links and stuff I'll try and link it down below in the description box um, if I don't end up doing that just remind me in the comments anyway um, I need to figure out how I'm going to sew this trim onto the bodice. What I'm thinking of doing is just sewing it over the top of the seam line and then just sewing it in small sections. So like this would be a section, that would be a section and then there'd be another one on the back. Um, and I'm just going to hand stitch it probably using a mix of back stitching and running stitches um, either side of the trim. So I'm hoping that will work out. I'm not sure. I don't even know if this can be sewn through because it is quite a thick trim. And I've got my reference pictures up here. So that's a picture I took um, when I was trying to figure out what trims I was going to use for what. Um, so as you can see here, I'm going to focus on this little part. Sorry, no, that part there and then maybe I'll focus on that. Um, the idea is to sew on all of these small horizontal, I'm calling them horizontal because they are basically horizontal, all of those small um, zigzag horizontal strips. And then after I've sewn all the horizontal ones, then I can focus on the vertical ones that go up this way and up that way. Um, so yeah, I'll see how I go and I'll probably just time lapse whatever I do tonight on this thing and then maybe provide a little update at the end. Okay, let's do this. So unfortunately um, this stuff is just way too thick um, to sew through. It's a bullion trim, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, um, but it's basically like little metal fibres or something all sewn together somehow um, to create the trim. So it's not actually fabric, which means it's very very hard to sew through and as you can see I've only just done little two little stitches just there to secure that in place but I'm not going to sew the whole length down 
Um, instead, what I've decided that I'm going to try and do is um, attach it to the bodice using the E6000 glue. I'm hoping <laughs> that this works and I don't ruin it. I should probably just start on the back just in case I do screw it up. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, I just want to work on the front. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, if this turns out badly, I will figure something out. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'll glue that down and then I'll probably just sew at the points. So like one there, one there and so forth. So I won't sew the whole length of the trim, just at the edges and I'll glue the rest down. Oh, wish me luck. Okay, you can see that something very bad has happened. Um, I don't know if you could tell in the sped up time lapse clip, but basically I was trying to glue down um, this section here with um, the large trim, this one, and while I was doing that I didn't realize that the top of the glue tube had busted open. Um, and had come out all over my hands and all over the front of the bodice. Um, so immediately, obviously I care about my hands more than this bodice, so I ran to the tap and was scrubbing my hands um, under hot water and trying to scrub off all the glue because my hands were literally covered or in glue, like all over my hands was just this glue and I could feel it starting to like become tacky and it was freaking me out so I did that and while that was happening obviously the glue that was all here it was like a big pile of glue was just seeping in to the fabric unfortunately so by the time I got back um, there was no way of saving this um, I wiped any excess with tissue paper and then I was just like oh what do I do um, I was yeah I, I didn't know what to do and I knew that there was no way of saving this fabric um, and I've worked already so hard on it that I don't want to redo all of this and I wanted I wanted to get it done by the end of this month um, so I'm just going to leave it <laughs> um, and I'm just going to hope that all of the bodice trim will cover up, well it won't really cover up this mess but it will, it will disguise it a little bit um, hopefully and yeah um, basically that happened all on this side and then I mean, there's no way of saving this, so I may as well just replicate it on this side, and that's what I did. I I put glue on here and rubbed it around to replicate this side, and then um, 
yep, that's where we're at. Um, I mean, the centre trim will hide most of it. And then this will go over here, like that. And then over the top of that will go this. So, I mean, there's so much going on on the bodice and people will be looking at Jasmine's cape and wings and whatnot. Hopefully no one will focus on this area, which is the very middle part of the bodice. Oh. <coughs> this is, yeah, this is a mess. Well, this is life. Shit happens in life, so you just got to keep calm and deal with it. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, it's late now. I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea, go to bed, and I'll worry about this tomorrow. I'm just really annoyed that I can't use the glue anymore. Because um, it's busted. So... And that glue's expensive. Anyway, the, I guess the only good thing that I can think of is that tomorrow is Thursday, which means late night shopping, so at least I can go to the shops after work tomorrow and buy some more glue. But, yeah, I am... I am beyond done. I am so, so, so annoyed right now. I'm going to bed. just seen me in that clip just then. Um, basically I cut out some of the scrap fabric to uh, go in these areas here um, and I'm hoping that will cover up this mess um, and I did have to peel off what I had already glued down. Um, at least I know for sure that this stuff will not move because I really had to pull that off. Um, it was really stuck down. And besides, I wasn't happy with how high up that was going, um, so I'm sure that by placing these, I will at least have a guide to follow for the two pieces of trim that go either side, parallel. Um, so I guess there are some good sides to this, but at the same time, that still looks horrible. Um, so unfortunately, there is no way I can cover that up. Um, I did replicate um, what the glue had done on the other side, just so it looked even-ish. Um, I'm just hoping that the trim that goes here, the beaded trim, will just disguise this a little bit, and at least what I've got here will cover up all the mess that's under there, which is the majority of it, so fingers crossed, and I will get going and hand sew all of this down. I'm too scared to use glue as you can imagine at the moment. Um, so I'm not going to glue down these fabric pieces, I'm going to sew them down and then I'm going to glue down the trim on those raw edges and that will hide those. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. 
um, no need for you guys to watch me hand sew struggle <sighs> it's a struggle anyway uh, that's just the update um, I'm going to go do that and then I can hopefully get moving along with this bodice because this is causing me nightmares so this is where I'm at with um, the bodice so I've sewn on those little panels um, really rough hand stitching I'll trim off the edges and yeah that covers up the majority of that glue mess <laughs> um, and then after I've trimmed these edges um, I'm going to glue I'm going to glue trim here okay. I'm going to glue trim there and also another one up, up above here um, originally I was going to use um, is it? this trim here for that top one but now I'm starting to think it won't be thick enough to cover up both the raw edge and the stitching so maybe I will use that again and then to make this one thicker I'll probably glue that one just above it um, yeah I don't know exactly what I'm going to do um, but I guess I'll just time lapse whatever I do and then I'll explain what I did afterwards oh and by the way the glue is still busted um, so the glue always seems to come out the top rather than the bottom uh, and I will probably get a new a tube of glue um, but for now this is what I'm going to use and what I've been doing is just squeezing it out and then whatever comes out the top I've been scooping that up with the end of a paintbrush and then just using that paintbrush to lay down the glue um, at least this way I have more control and I won't be focusing on the tip of the of the tube of glue um, and I can actually focus on the actual placement of the glue on the bodice so hopefully there will be no more mess um, so yeah that's that's about it and I'm going to get cracking at the same time I'm watching how to train your dragon 3 because I haven't seen it yet it's pretty good so far about halfway through I love toothless okay back to work So I've just finished gluing down these big pieces of trim on the V part of the bodice. Um, so I need to let that dry. Um, and yeah, you can see here that that's where the fabric patches have been sewn and the trim has been glued down. So I'm hoping that will look all right when it's worn. Um, yes, you can see that there's some glue marks there, but it's a lot better looking than what it was before, so I'm quite happy with um, how it's turned out. Um, originally, I was thinking I would hand sew all of this trim, but it's all much too thick for that, so I've even glued down the centre front trim, um, and yeah, all of these, um, it's bullion, bullion trim. I think Dad said it was pronounced bullion not bullion so bullion trim it's really hard to sew um, so I would recommend just gluing it down um, had I been a bit more experienced with glue I think it would have worked better 
um, like it's still very lumpy because I'm just not very good at it. Um, and then as for the smaller trim that's going to go places, um, I do have this. Um, so I'm thinking this I will sew to this section here. And then I've also got the same trim as this, um, but the thinner version. So this will go all along the waist, the bottom of the bodice basically. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to sew it there or if I'm going to sew it like that. Um, because this one is going to have um, beads coming off it. So I feel like if it was down here, I don't know, maybe the beads would warp it funny. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But I think I'm definitely going to sew this one. Um, I'll sew that one down. Everything else I'll glue. And then as for all of the small trim like this and this. Sorry, you couldn't see that. Um, this one and this one. I will sew those down and I've also got this trim which I think is really pretty but I don't know what to do with it eh, I'll figure it out and then I you can see that I've got some of the beaded stuff there as well so that's going to go along here and up there and down here I think that's all oh yeah and I also um, glued down this section here um, I may or may not add, um, probably, probably this trim, maybe I'll add it just above, like that, but if I do add this trim, I will probably sew it down and not glue it, because it can be sewn through, um, yeah, I'll have to find a thread that matches perfectly because the current gold thread I've got just does not match and it looks really orange and bad so yeah but so far it's um it's going well apart from that mishap um but yeah I'm really hoping that I will be able to get this done by the end of next week <sighs> okay I'm going to bed now So what I did off camera was sew uh, these two pieces of trim together at the corner, um, trimmed off the edges and made it look nice from the front. So this will be the tip of the front of the bodice, the center front. And what you would have seen me do in the time lapse is I had um, glued and sewed down all of this trim along the bottom. So for this trim here, I used this, um, I think it's called Satash or something, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this stuff um, from eBay. And I hand sewed that all along here, 
um, you can see my stitching on the back so I did tiny little well not very tiny but little back stitches with this metallic thread um, I was actually going to use the original gold thread that I had um, but it just looked really orange and really bad so I ended up having to buy this for like seven dollars just for this I mean what um, yep so I've done that and then down here at the point down here I've had to use glue to glue all of these parts down um, this part doesn't steam, seem to be sticking um, I'll figure that out later um, yeah so the next part is to put this where is it add this trim this one here um, here we go like this so that will go there um, and the way I'm thinking of doing this is by sewing along the top edge I really want to do this by machine but I'm not sure if my machine can handle sewing through all of that because that's that's pretty thick um, but I'll see how I go and then after I've sewn the top of this trim I think this is going to hang off the edge um, because if I move it up like this I think it cuts off all of this and it looks really funny uh, whereas down here it lets all of these three points meet to a central point um, so after I've sewn that down I will get some more of this I think it's Satash <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it uh, this braided trim stuff and then that's going to go along the top like so and then and then I'll see what I'll end up doing I think I need to focus on putting some trim on the shoulder pieces the sleeves and the back the top of the back pieces um, so yeah that's what I'll figure out next and then hopefully I can move on to the beads and the jewels and stuff so it's it's coming together I can slowly see it coming together I just need to get cracking on all of this main trim so yeah Hey guys, so I just wanted to go through what I've done so far. So I've sewn, hand sewn all of the top of the trim on the front and then on the back I've just pinned it in place while it was on me. Um, yeah, everything seems to be looking okay. Um, I'm not too happy with how this part turned out because it seems to have like wrinkled and warped um, since I stuck on all of this trim so I'm not sure what's happening there but whatever the all of the the dazzleness will disguise this hopefully and as for how this glue situation is looking um, I just laid the beads over the top and it seems to work nicely so I'm not too fussed about that um, these things here so the trim goes all the way out to the armpit and I had to tuck those bits of the trim under 
um, because they were really poking into my skin. Um, yeah, it wasn't that pleasant, so that's what I've done there. Um, I just feel like all of this is still a bit lumpy. <laughs> um, I think I just need to glue it down better, but I can't be bothered fixing that up right now. I just want to keep moving along. Um, this part looks nice. Um, I think what I'll do next is also the same trim onto the top of the waistband. Um, and as for like the trim in general, it's looking a very, what's the word, very bland. Um, and obviously that's because the, be the beaded stuff isn't on yet, um, you know, all the sparkly stuff. But even so, the sparkly stuff only happens down the center front, along the waistband, and then on the cups. So that means that all of this will still be this plain gold bronzy color. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to put some more sparkly trim over the top or if I'm going to paint it with um, that sparkly pigment that I've got um, or just leave it as is. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do there, but this is the situation as of right now. Um, I'm hoping I can smash out a lot more this weekend. Yeah, hopefully no disasters happen with the the bodice anymore and hopefully I can just continue through, power through and get it done. Um, the one thing that I'm really unsure of what to do is these sleeves. So at the moment they stretch because I've left the fabric as is, but if I attach something to the sleeve it won't be able to stretch anymore so I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that part, um, but I will share what I do if I end up ever getting around to it. Otherwise. I guess it looks okay by itself. Um, there will be trim up here, so I think that's enough sparkle if there's trim up here. It doesn't always have to be trimmed down here as well. Um, unless I can find something stretchy, I'll see. Um, so yeah, that's the update, and I think it's time for bed. <laughs>